Hello, class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Look, guys, good evening. How are you? How's it going? Tell me. Good evening, good evening teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hey, fine. Excellent. Hello, Marlene. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Karen. How are you? Hi, teacher. Thank you. Let me see who else is here. Janet, Carolina. Hello, Janet. How are you, Janet? Hello, Selma. Good evening. Let me see who else do we have here. Uh, Michelle. Selma. Hi, Selma. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Let me see. Roberto. Hi, Roberto. How's it going? Good evening, teacher. How you doing? Good. How was your day? I'm here, teacher. I, I feel a little bit sick right now. But really? Yeah, I think I have uh, uh, flu. Mm, okay. Uh, no, no, no. It's okay. I, I was thinking about, um, I, I was thinking that I had COVID yesterday. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I felt uh, like a little bit sick. <laughs> really? Oh. Yeah. But no, yeah. not anymore. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I maybe. feel great. But I hope you 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 recover soon. You get well. Yeah, soon. I take a a, a panel. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe I will get better. Yeah, sure you will. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, oh, oh, yeah, that's good, definitely. Yeah. And we have Oscar Santana. Hi, Oscar. You're driving? No. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How's it going? So tired. Hmm. <laughs> Why? Uh, I work this day about 12 hours. 12 hours. My goodness. So you are... Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm I so tired. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, I got to weigh up. Way up uh to 4 a.m again <laughs> what time 4 a.m ah 4 a.m i i thought you were saying two <laughs> okay <laughs> my goodness yeah you know i know a person who well she told me that she she normally wakes up at about 3 a.m. in the morning because she travels from Candelaria to San Salvador. Escalon, but I don't know. She told me that. Well, I thought that was kind of, well, so difficult, you know, too difficult. Well, let's see. Oh, Sarita, Arely, Jenny, welcome. Wendy, and Naftali, welcome, guys. Thanks, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so we're gonna start with our session for today. Just let me look for. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay. Well, you know, for this lesson, we have a class objective, which is uh, basically talking about um, models and adverbs so we're going to be checking how to use them we're going to watch a video we're going to have a presentation and besides that we, we're going to have some exercises and i'll try to well we'll try to play a game if possible okay let's see um jenny could you read the lesson objective for this lesson by the end of this class participants will learn to use modal verbs Morals and adverbs to talk about meaning. Okay, perfect. 
So in order to do so, we're gonna first uh, watch a short video and later we're gonna be sharing a presentation, okay? So uh, I suggest you, oh, this is going to be really important, so I suggest you to take some notes, okay? So just let me share my computer audio with you and then we can start, okay? See, so can you see the video on your screen? Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Possibly, probably. Ready? Let's talk about models and adverbs. Notice they both go from a slight to a strong possibility. Don't go and stay for more. Let's look at this small diagram to illustrate what we mentioned in the intro video. Models and adverbs go from slight possibility to strong possibility. Models, it might, may, mean, it could mean, it must mean. Adverbs, maybe, perhaps, it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Okay, since our topic is about uh, models and adverbs, so we're going to check the difference between these models and adverbs. And basically, there is no difference. Since um, in, when we want to uh, show a possibility or a probability, so we can use uh, these models, might, may, mean, could, or must. But besides that, you can also use adverbs. Um, for example, we have maybe, perhaps, it's possibly, uh, it possibly, it definitely means. So you can use these uh, two interchangeable. So, but there's one difference. So you can use adverbs at the beginning of your sentence. So let's continue watching. Perhaps it means, it possibly, probably means, it definitely means. Therefore, this is how we're going to use models and adverbs. When we're not sure about the meaning, we use models of possibility. For example, might, may, could, or we may use adverbs such as maybe, perhaps, possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb definitely. If we go possibility, for example, Okay, so look at this. Uh, there is another difference about the percentage or when you're not sure about something. You can use may, might, may, or could, and but each of them has a percentage. So we're going to be checking soon. Uh, besides that, we can also notice that, um, okay, so look at this. We can also use these adverbs in order to express a, po a possibility, like maybe, perhaps, possibly, and probably. Let's continue watching this. Possibly, probably. And when we're sure about the meaning, we use the model must or adverb. Okay, so this is also important. So when you're sure about something, um, we basically use must or definitely 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 if we go back to the chart we will realize we use the base form of the verbs when we use model verbs and when we use adverbs we need to be careful with the verb the verb must be used in third person singular in other words we add final s on the verb means Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. On the verb mean. Okay, so what we can um, consider when talking about these uh, models and adverbs is about the form of the verb that you're going to use. For example, when you use models, uh, the verb stays or remains in the base form without any, let's say, S or something like that, right? But when you uh, use an adverb to show possibility, so you have to be careful with this because the verb uh, will stay um, in the third person singular. So it means that you're going to be using S or any of the final endings depending on the letter that the verb 
finish, right? Uh, finishes, right? For example, maybe or perhaps it means, no, it mean, right? So as in, as the, well, the other way around is using my, right? So you look at this and you won't use any S, right? So I could, it could mean, it must mean, it might mean, or it may mean. But with the adverbs, so we have to add is to the verb. So maybe it means, perhaps it means. By the way, do you know what's the meaning of maybe and perhaps? Guys? Tal vez. Tal vez, quizá, yeah, okay. It possibly, it's clear, it probably means, it definitely means, okay. So remember, we go from a slight possibility to strong possibility, as we were talking about previously. Something else that is important to know is the use of maybe and perhaps. These adverbs always go at the beginning of a sentence, whereas possibly, probably, and definitely go after the subject. Are you ready to come up with your own sentences? Share with us two sentences using models and two sentences using adverbs. Okay, so before doing the examples, we're going to present a presentation so you can have more information about these uh, models uh, and adverbs. So we're going to be checking models of probability. So we're going to be checking may, might, must. Look at this. So trick or treat. So we're going to be talking about Halloween. So because it's coming, right? <laughs> I don't know if you, if you uh, think that's true, but we're going to be checking that. Okay, so look at this. We're going to be checking. We're going to be discussing about these uh, four models. Could, might, may, and must. Okay. And look at this. Uh, in order to form the present time or a future time, we need uh, to follow a structure, of course. So what do we need? Look at this. We need a subject plus a modal verb plus a verb in the basic form. For example, uh, okay, so the model never changes form, right? So I think you already know that. The main verb that follows is always in the basic form of the verb. So when you're using a model, right? If you're using uh, an adverb, so you have to modify that verb. This might belong to a teacher. So this is our example. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Jenny, could you read the examples, please? Uh, we have three more examples. The moral, uh, the examples or the, uh, the first uh, sentence? Uh, the example, yeah, the four examples. This might belong to a teacher. This must belong to a witch. There's no candy left in the store. Tomorrow must be Halloween. Okay, cool. And I'm going to show you some of the percentages based on Oxford. Uh, these are some. These are the percentages for each of these uh, models. So it means that uh, each of these models have a, a percentage of probability. So the first one that we have is uh, Moss with a ninety percent, ninety five percent, and May with a seventy percent, Might with a forty percent, and Can with a uh, ninety five percent. So look at this. This might belong to a teacher. Might, might. This must belong to a witch. There is no candy left in the store. Tomorrow must be Halloween, right? So let's continue checking some more examples. And this is going to be useful uh, in order to, well, if you want to show, a, let's say, a percentage or a probability or a strong probability. So you have to use either. Uh, one of these, right? Okay. So how do we form the negative? So in order to make the negative uh, sentences, we need a subject, we need the model, we need, we need also need not and a verb, right? The model, remember, the model never changes. And let me see. Okay. 
Okay, so here we have some examples. Uh, Roberto, could you help us reading the examples? Oh, sure. Uh, the witch may not like her hat. Mm -hmm. She mean might. No, she might not wear in all. It on Halloween. Mm -hmm. He can't be a goat. He's not dead. Okay, he's not dead. Yes. Not dead. Okay. Based on that, we're going to be creating some examples, some positive and some negative examples. For example, let's see. Okay, so my mom. So give me a model. So it can be must, may, might, can't. We're going to create a positive example and later a negative. My mom. My mom may. Okay, may. May cook. Okay, may cook what? A breakfast. Okay. Breakfast. Okay. Breakfast for Roberto. Okay, so that's a positive example. Let's see, Jenny, give me another example. Uh, my sister. Let's continue with the relatives. My sister. May, may uh -huh. go to the mall. May go to the mall. Okay, perfect. Let's see somebody else. How about you, uh, Adelie? Give us an example. Try. Positive. Positive. Start thinking about your negative. Positive example, let's see. The supervisor, okay, must, early, complete that statement. The supervisor must. Be angry. Okay, be angry, cool, excellent. No, that's not cool, right? Let me see, somebody else. Um, how about you, uh, Jeanette? Jeanette, Selma? Okay. Oh, okay. Excuse Jose? me, uh, my sister may go to, uh, to go the mall. May go to the mall? It's correct. So why, what do you think? What is your question? Because it's the, uh, the may to go. Mm, ah, okay, I got it. Yeah. No, in this case, we only use um we only use this is the infinity, right? The full infinity with two, right? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh-huh. But we only use the stem, we only use the base. So utilizamos la base. So my sister may go. Uh my mom may cook. The supervisor must be angry. Just the base. Just a bit without two. In this case, I have used two because it shows direction. So it's a preposition that is showing me direction. So she's going to to a place, right? So direction, movement. I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. So uh Jose, do you have an example? My brother. Uh... Okay. May. Me. Go to the university. Okay, may go to, um, okay, to that university. Let me see, somebody else. Adelie, you ready? Not yet? Wendy, how about you, Wendy? One example, try. My Passing. brother. Okay, my brother. Oh, my cousin. My cousin. Okay, my cousin. My cousin, Moss. Moss. Do homework on time. Okay, must do his or her homework. Her. Her homework, okay. On time. Let me see, somebody else. Give me some more examples. Um, Teacher, I have one. Okay, Marlene. But I don't know if correct. My friends, my sorry, my friends might go to dance. Dance. It may go to dance. Mm, 
students. So, you know, after, oh, uh -huh. it can be May. Yeah, that depends. So if you're trying to say that she often go uh, to dance, so you use mm -hmm. may. If you mm -hmm. use might, so it means like she goes, but maybe, uh, let's say, in not not all the time, right? Just like a few times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's the difference, the percentage. Uh, mm -hmm. My friends might go to... Uh, so after go up for you in the gym so my friends may go dancing okay so let's see somebody else who has another example try Selma Sarita yes. Natalie yeah uh, my uncle may arrived mm -hmm. to the meeting early okay to the meeting early Okay, cool. So you got it. So now let's try with a negative. Remember, subject, modal, not, plus a verb. So there you have some example. examples. Mean. Try to give me some negative examples. Maybe we can modify this. Me, teacher. Okay. My nephew. Okay. My nephew. Mm, not. Mm, must oh okay must go to the beach not go to the beach okay okay um okay so we have to check that pronunciation <laughs> but i cannot say it here <laughs> but this is um well i'm gonna show you that word later Let's see, give me another example using a negative, negative. Remember, must plus not, may plus not, my plus not, or can plus not, or a contraction. So yeah. what is the contraction? My nephew, contraction for must. Mustn't, mustn't go to the beach, okay. Jenny, ready? Um, you can use uh, any my, uh -huh. my son. Okay, my son. So remember, I have used my son, my nephew, my brother, my cousin. You can say Sandra, you can say Selma, you can say somebody else, right? Robert, <laughs> my son. My son, uh, what is the pronunciation in negative teacher? Mustn't. Uh -huh. Mustn't, yeah, mustn't. Mustn't, uh, mustn't go to the school tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Let me see, Roberto, ready with an example? Uh, let me see. I don't know if we can use, for example, we must said follow the instruction. Yeah, you can say so. Yeah, yeah, but 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 the instruction what? <laughs> but by the by the exam, for example. Mm, okay, so we mustn't follow instruction when we take an exam, for example, or for the exam, you can say. Oh, for the exam. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Let me see. Um, Neftali, do you have a negative example? You see, must, may, might. Okay. Um, the the same sentence is. I'm going to 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 do uh negative. My song. No. My supervisor, my supervisor mustn't be angry. Okay, mustn't be angry. <laughs> yes, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, good. So now let's continue with some more. Um, again, so we have models in the past. So we have checked some models in the present. So now let's check some models in the past. So what is the structure that we use? Subject, model, have, plus a verb in the past participle. Do you remember the verbs in participle forms? 
verbs in participle forms, guys? Do you remember that? With ing. Mm, no ing. It's not ing. It's the third form of the verbs. Third form of the verbs. For example, um, he can. Adobe, buenas noches. He Buscar can have. Le saluda. Eh, ahí le pido ese apoyo. Un compañero necesita un contacto de, de, ¿cómo se llama? José tiene encendido el micrófono. Yeah, I was thinking yeah. he's talking with us. <laughs> eh, Sorry. She, she may. Um, she can't. Okay, so I'm going to show you some past participle forms so you can uh, check that. Okay, so look at this. Uh, again, the model never changes. I have never changes because we're going to be using uh, perfect, uh, well, models in the past. The main verb is in the past participle. So let me show you some uh, verbs in the past participle. This is going to be a short review about past participles. Remember, uh, for regular verbs, the past participle isn't the same as in the simple past sometimes, So, which uses the ed ending on the basic form. So I think you're going to remember that quickly. Look at this. This is the basic form that we were talking for the present tense. So I can play the piano. So she could play the piano. Um, we must play the piano and uh, she might play the piano, right? Uh, for the simple past, we're gonna be using um, past participle forms, right? So that is the um, commonly the third column of the, uh, of the verbs, right? So we sometimes say that's a very three form. So played and walked. And for irregular verbs, the past participle is not the ed form. So what is the form for irregular verbs? For example, it, ate, past participle, guys? Eating. Mm -hmm. Go, when, and past participle for the verb go? Gone. Gone. Okay, so that is what we're going to be uh, using in these uh, models with... Uh, you can take a screenshot. I don't know. Did you? Okay. So now I can go back. So let me put that. Oh, so I'm going to start it back to you. Give me a couple of seconds. Okay. Okay, so now we can continue with that. Okay, so look at the examples. She might have lost her hat and broom. Someone might have hidden them. So someone might uh, have hidden them. And her wicked sister must have stolen them. Look, there she is. And the and there you have an audio. I don't know what's that about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, can you read the examples, please? Uh, Roberto, help us. Okay. Uh, she mean has have lost her hat and broom. Mm -hmm. Might, Roberto, might. Might, uh, sorry, might. She might have lost her hat and broom. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, someone might have hidden them. Hidden, hidden. Hidden them. Okay. Uh, her weak, wicked, yeah. wicked sister must have stolen them. Look, there she is. Okay, okay. so the, the witch, right? Okay, so as you notice, so we use a uh, subject plus the model plus have plus a past participle, lost, hidden, stolen. So try creating one example. So try to create one example. 
For example, I might have um, worked for hours last week, but I didn't, okay? So I might have worked for hours last week. So try to give me an example. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. So start th start thinking about your example, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. She must have a in a computer. Uh -huh. She must have taping. Eaten? Take taping. Ah, taken. Taping. The 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 escribir en la máquina. Ah, typing. Typing in a computer. Oh, okay. Typing. How do you spell the um, past participle form for typing? Tell. Type. Uh -huh. So we have to look for the past uh, participle form. Type. Type. Type in a computer. Uh -huh. Okay. Somebody else? Neftali, Jose, Janet. Yes. Um, Sarita. Carolina must have brought her cell phone. Mm -hmm. Must have broken. Brought. Broken. They have walked any bus. Her cell phone. So remember, you have to use past participle forms when you're using these. Uh, models in the past if this is up uh let's say a past perfect tense so she you may have written um i might have worked she must have eaten ella debe haber comido demasiado so this is a past perfect tense okay somebody else next to me Mm. Yes. I must have eaten more vegetables. Okay. So can you type your example? I didn't hear very well. Could you please repeat me, please? Can you repeat your example, please? Mm, I must I must have eaten more vegetables. Oh, okay. So I must have eaten more vegetables. Look, um, I'm sick now. <laughs> okay, look, I got some weight. Okay. Jenny? Let me see somebody else. I I know some of your names. Oscar, how about you, Oscar? Michelle? Selma? Try, try. Sure. Uh-huh. The other example say, uh, Jenny must have... Exercise. Exercised in the gym. Okay. In the gym. Okay. Okay. Somebody else? Me. Okay, Selma. Go ahead. I might have washed my car in the morning. Excellent. Good job. So I might have washed my car in the morning. Good, good job. Let me see. Okay, so we have one example. Oscar, my sister. Um, okay, so you have to check the structures again, Oscar. My sister. So let's help Oscar. My sister. Guys, check uh, the chat. So let's try to help Oscar with the example. So how will you change that? My sister has, has to play it. 
Mm, let's re uh, remember, we have to follow the structure, subject, model. So you can see like any model, may, must, might, can, um, yeah, no, maybe might, may, or must. My sister might have late, late, okay, late, late what? Play football, soccer. Ah, oh, soccer in the morning. Soccer in the morning. Okay, so check that, Oscar. So my sister might have played soccer in the morning. So I know this is kind of, well, this is a matter of practice, you know. So you're going to master that as much as you practice that. Okay. Uh, okay, Michelle, we have an, uh, we have Arely and we have Michelle, uh, Michelle's example. I might have cleaned my bathroom early. Good, Arely. Excellent. My best friend might have gone, at, uh, okay, to the party, Michelle, to the party, to the party. So she might have gone to the party. Check that. Teacher. Mm -hmm. They might have met in the mall. Oh, okay. Yes. They might have met in the mall. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, let me see. We have one more. Um, okay, no, that's okay. Excellent, guys. Good job. Let me see. Uh, okay, Jose has another one. My wife uh, may have Jose. Uh, when we use this structure, you, uh, remember that this is a past perfect tense. So you have to use um, have. We have to follow this structure with the uh, models in the past. Okay, I got it. Uh huh. How? Even though if it's, it's she, right? She might have. Um. Let me see your example. Ah, may. My wife may have walked. Okay, three hours. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's continue with some more examples. We, I think, we have some more tenses before we finish. Okay. So you may uh, take some pictures, right? So I suggest you that. May I? May I continue, guys? Yes, tell me. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. And we have the negative for the past form, which is uh, just adding not. Example, did you see your friends? No, they might not have arrived yet. Okay. And uh, there is a um, detail when you use uh, this uh, tense, which is um, that when you talk with someone or in spoken conversation, not and have are pushed together. So it means that you join, you make a contraction. And it sounds like this. No, they might not arrive yet. This is only in spoken English, so not written English. Because this is informal, you know. And there is also another possibility, which is mighten. Mighten will be the negative uh, form as well. And, um, okay, apostrophe T, mighten. So that's another way to contract uh, might not. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's uh, write some examples. So you can type your example through the chat. I might, let me see. Yeah, okay, I may not have worked. She may not have. So can you complement that with a participle form? So try to add a participle form for these uh, two sentences. She may not have, we must not have, or 
Masen, right? Mm, do you know the participle form for the verb sin? So I'm gonna give you the verb and you give me the participle form. Which is the participle for sin? Um, mm -hmm. Can you spell it? S? S. U. N. G. Okay. She may not have song. We must not have one. Give. Give. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm crazy right now. <laughs> no, I know because this, uh, when we talk about verse, it's kind of mm, okay. So we have to think. <laughs> Concentrate. <laughs> okay. So we must, uh, we mustn't have. What participle for the verb give? Given. Given. Okay, we mustn't have given uh, prizes. Okay, no debimos dar haber dado regalos premios. <laughs> okay, so it uh, costs. Okay, it costs a lot. Okay, cool. So let me see. I'm gonna show you examples, but now. Mm, let me see. Do you have any question about negative form? Negatives? Remember, in this case, so you place subject, modal, not, have, and the past participle. Let's see. Let me see. And I think that we have one. Okay. So what do you think about this picture? Can you read that, please? Neftali, help us read that. Uh, what do you what do you think about this picture? It mustn't be Halloween. That mm -hmm. ghost might be hungry. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah, I must be Halloween. That ghost might be a hungry man. He must he must have a use a bell shed seat <laughs> for this custom. He will probably get a lot of candy mm -hmm, a lot of candy okay so it must be halloween that gas might have might be a hungry man he must have used a bed sheet for his costume he would probably get a lot of candy right okay so do you understood uh do you understand that guys is it clear well, the usage of models so so Okay, so we're gonna be checking some so, more. So. <laughs> so, so I know this is a matter of practice, right? We're gonna be checking some more examples, and um, just to finish. So I know this is kind of a lot, but this is gonna be useful. And uh, continuous action. So we talk about a progressive form, where you can also use the models. The witch might be looking for her, or her hat in bloom. Subject, model, plus B, and ING form. Okay. For example, I might, okay, I might be working um, there next uh, year. Okay. So this is going to be easy. She may. B, um, dancing with him soon. Okay, so they they love dancing. We must uh, be drinking chocolate, right? <laughs> In winter. So let's see. Try to give me one example. Let's start with Roberto. Follow the structure. Okay. Uh, she she might be in the restroom. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. She might be. Uh, now we need an in, ing verb. In the. Oh, okay. She might be. Uh, 
reading. Mm -hmm. In the library. In the bookstore uh, library. Book, no, bookstore. Bookstore. Okay, got it. Jenny. Come on, Jenny, you can do it. Go ahead. I might. Hello, Jenny, you here? What happened with Jenny? Let me see. Teacher, I have one. I one hear minus. teacher. Naftali. Okay. Um let me see. We start with Naftali and then you, you read your example, Jenny. Naftali, go ahead. I'm not sure. It's well. I might be sleeping all night. Yeah, that's right. All night. So and uh, when why do you use uh my may remember what is the percentage for mass? Do you remember percentage for must? 95%. Remember that we express probability with this use, okay? So they have some other uses, but this is for probability. May, 70%. Might, again, how what is the percentage? Might, do you remember? 40, right? And can, 95 for a negative. Okay, let's see, Michelle, example, they might be eating at the restaurant together. Good. Jenny, go ahead with your example. Mm. I may, may, okay, may, may, I may be studying. Studying, okay, studying. More. Okay, so maybe starting more. Okay, yeah, so it means that you probably will do it, right? So you're in a 70%. Okay, let's see, somebody else. Delma? Okay, Sarita, he might be buying the book that I suggested. Good. Might be buying, okay, I made a mistake. So I thought she said might, he might be buying the book I suggested. Okay, let me see another example. We must be drinking vitamin C in winter. Yes, Jose. Sure, I have one. Mm -hmm. Um, Jenny must be working hard every day. Oh, okay, so Jenny must be working hard. Every day. Okay, got it? Jenny, Jenny, you have to do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jenny <Yeah>. claims. <laughs> got it, she, got it. She may be cooking with my husband. Mm, she <laughs> may be cooking. Okay. With my husband. With my husband. Cool. <laughs> <It's toxic. laughs> <laughs> we have some questions, Karen. <laughs> okay, she may be cooking with my husband. Okay, in notice, uh, previously, uh, when we were watching the video, we saw that we can use adverbs as well in order to substitute uh, models. Um, adverbs can substitute, let's say, substitute models. When we talk about a probability, okay, for example, and she was mentioning um, that um, we can place these uh, adverbs at the beginning of our sentences, right? For example, maybe, so let's modify the last example. Maybe it's uh, an adverb, right? Maybe the other one is perhaps. And um, I think she mentioned some others. Maybe. She is cooking with my husband. So you're showing a probability using an adverb. Maybe she's cooking with my husband. Uh, perhaps. Okay, let's say Jenny. 
must be a working, right? Perhaps, quizás, quizás Jenny debería estar trabajando duro, quizás, or maybe. Okay, so let's see. Um, so now we're going to be checking some more examples. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Jenny, can you read the example? What do you think about this picture? Read it. This must be a hunter house. Hunter was house? Uh -huh. Hunter house. The ghost will be making a lot of noise. The house might make might might not be occupied. occupied. No, 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 where is the pronunciation of occupied? The owners must have moved. Mm -hmm. So this is occupied, uh, something like, let me write it here, something like this, occupied. Uh, Something like this, occupied. Uh, Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What is the pronunciation? Uh, the, there must be a howling, howling house? Haunted. Oh. Haunted. A haunted. Haunted house. Haunted house. Haunted house. Mm -hmm. In the other, the. the the ghost. Ah, okay. The the ghost will be mm -hmm. made the ghost. 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 Uh -huh. ghost. 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 The okay. ghost. Okay. Will okay. be making a lot of noise. The house might. No be occupied. Occupied, okay. The owners must have moved. 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 Uh -huh. Moved. Okay, so look at this. Here we have some examples. So who is talking to? Uh, who is she talking to? What did the person on the phone tell her? What will she do when she hangs up? So try to give me some ideas. So who is she talking to? Use uh, models. She may, okay, be talking to, what do you think? Her daughter, her friend. Okay, to her, her daughter, okay. For her friend. Okay, girlfriend. What did the person on the phone tell her? Any idea? Maybe she have she has to work. Maybe she has to to work. She has to work. Okay, so what will she do when she hangs up? How do you say chambre? <laughs> Um, well, gossiping, gossiping. Maybe she has to gossip. gossip. Ah, okay. <laughs> she might be a gossiping about the gossiping about the novel. <laughs> about the novel. The novel, soap opera, opera. For the neighborhood. Soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbor yeah yeah about the neighbor yeah and you know she brought another man to the house <laughs> okay let's see my goodness so we have a lot of imagination let me see mm, okay so i'm gonna show you some exercises before we leave mm, okay I will continue. Okay, so here we have the exercise. Yes. 
Look at this. This is Tom. He's in the dormitory room at UCI. It's one in the afternoon on Saturday. So what do you think? Try to complete that using a model. Tom, what do you think? May. May. Mass. Maybe a student. Okay. He. He must use. He might use. Yes, right. He must use his laptop for homework. For homework. What do you think? Number three. He, he might. He might. Okay. Might Interesting. Eat. He might. Uh -huh. eat his lunch, his lunch earlier. 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 Mm -hmm. earlier. He might eat his lunch earlier. Number four. He might. He could be. He can't. He can't. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, okay. Nice. He can't live. Live. Can live at home with his parents. Okay. So remember, can means 95%, you're 95% that he cannot live at home with his parents because he's living in uh, the university, I guess. So what is he going to do tonight? So what do you think? In my... Mm -hmm. Going to dance. He might be going to maybe to dance to a party. Let's say to a party. What else? She may might be going to dinner. He may be going to dinner. Going to eat dinner, to eat dinner with? With friend, his friends. Okay. Neftali, Jose, Selma? He, he may be going to the beach. Uh, he may be going to the beach. Okay. Next <laughs> Anybody else who wants to share with us? <laughs> so how about you? Uh, must. He must be. He must be a stay home. Mm -hmm. He must, he uh, must be... he must stay at home. Yes, cool. Um, I think somebody has another example. Elisa, Adelie, do you have a, an example? He must visit her parents. Mm, okay, he's. Parents, his parents. Okay. He must visit, visit his parents. Okay, cool, guys. Thanks so much. Okay, let's see. So now, um, well, I'm going to pass the attendance list. So I, I couldn't finish, you know. I had a lot of things for you, but well, we did what we could. Okay, let's see. Uh, Carlos Alberto Martinez. <laughs> So that's too sad we need some more time. Uh, I'm gonna pass attendance, please, guys. Please say present, okay? Carlos Alberto Martinez, hello. Carlos? Not here. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong list. Yeah. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Elisa Arely Lopez Campos. And the chair. Thanks, Elisa. Giselle Marie Hernandez Torres. Present. Thanks. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Present, teacher. Thanks, Janet. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present, teacher. Thanks. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. 
Marlene Elizabeth Bayo Araona. Present teacher. Thanks, Marlene. Michelle Beatriz Diaz Guzman. Hi, teacher. Present. Thanks, Michelle. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present teacher. Thanks. Oscar Alexander Santana. Present teacher. Thanks, Oscar. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Present teacher. Thanks, Roberto. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. Thanks, Sara. Selma Yamilet Peña Flores. Present. Thanks. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Present teacher. Thanks. And Jenny Carolina Ardón Cruz. Present teacher. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for being here today. So um, I'll see you in our next class tomorrow. Thanks, Maria. Okay, so I'm going to be checking the attendance, Maria Santos. Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Right, see you tomorrow, guys. Take care.